Well, this story will definitely continue to develop, so that's a good reason that we brought on King 5's brand new morning news anchor on the weekends, my old job. She's here with us this morning. Please, everyone, give a very warm welcome to Farah Jadran. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. Thanks for having me here, and I, I love that I get to sit with someone who once sat in the seat that I will be on Saturday I did. and Sunday. I sat there for a very long time. I think it was like five years, and I okay. loved every minute of it. It really did. Um, I'm excited. Uh, you're going to love it. By the way, are you a huge sports fan? I realize you just recently went to your very first Seahawks game. I did. I went to the preseason game against L.A., and I have to tell you, I am a huge NFL fan, and I actually am also a very good, I don't want to toot my own horn, fantasy football are you now? league uh, player. Yes, I'm defending champion in a league that I play in, which, I mean, there's a million leagues, but I am a defending champ, and I'm very excited about Girl, that. Girl, yes! So, just drafted my new team on Sunday, so hoping to repeat. Nice. Yeah. I'm very excited about this. All right, so um, where did you come from? Are you a Seahawks fan by uh, birth, or where are you from? Actually, I was born and raised outside of Chicago, so okay. I am a Bears fan. The I Bears. The Bears, the Bears. I do know that there is a game on the schedule in December where Seahawks and Bears meet, and it's here in Seattle. I'm going to ask everyone for permission if I can root for both. That way there's no losing. I will be happy with whoever wins, but if the Bears do win, I will gladly, uh, you know, do some sad emojis on, you know, social media <laughs> and, and things bit. like that. I don't think the, that the Bears are going to win that game. Maybe they do. I mean, they finally have a good quarterback in Justin Fields, which, of course, here in Seattle, you have Russell Wilson. Oh, so yeah. I can now claim him as, you know, my QB here as my hometown team now. But I, I was in Syracuse, New York before coming here, and I was a morning anchor there for... Um, a few years and before that I was a morning reporter and a weekend morning anchor there as well also launched a women's magazine nice. did lots of things in journalism it's always been my passion since I was very little my goodness well we are so glad to have you here um, and you brought your family here uh, that a family yes. that is growing Yes, this is not a basketball. I didn't. You didn't. I didn't hide steal. Bas yeah. you didn't hide the basketball. I didn't steal one of the basketballs from the table. Yes, uh, I'm due middle of November. My husband and I expecting our first baby. That so, is so growing great. family, three dogs, uh, and one baby on the way. I love it. There's a photo of your beautiful family. Yeah, <laughs> oh my dog. God! All right, here's the thing about your dogs too. We have to talk about. Now that I see them, I have to ask about this. Apparently, you have different voices for all I of that. And I seeing do. your pug and your cute little wiener kind of ish dog. Yeah. All right, so let's hear they, the voices. They do. Okay, so the dachshund, the little blonde one, who's the hot dog. His name's Jack. He'll be 13 next week. Oh my goodness. Uh, Amity, I'm very handsome. I'm just a dachshund. You know, I might be a little guy, but I am a super handsome man. I love it. That's what he sounds He's like. He's very handsome. Okay, the pug. Bogey in the middle. She's a rescue. And, uh, you know, I would like to sometimes be the center of attention. You know, a lot of people look at my wrinkles and they might write me off and say, why aren't you using anti-wrinkle cream? <laughs> All right, what about the last puppy dog? Bear, also a rescue, the big one that my husband loves picking up, even though she's like 55 pounds. Um, I am an Alabama dog, and <laughs> I am just so precious. I love my daddy. I love him. And uh, I'm going to be nine years old in November, and my baby sister, Bogey, will be eight years old. I can't. So, oh, you're going to do Do you want a favorite? I, I do. I like um, the girl, pug. Oh, see, everybody loves bogeys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, because why? Well, wouldn't you? And I love your outfit, Amity. <laughs> I sometimes wear dresses, too. Does she wear? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. A ruffle butt dress. Maybe we need to have you come on the show for Halloween season. And, and I'll bring Bogey. That would be great. Yeah. Um, you're going to do great on the weekends. Everyone's going <laughs> to love spending time with you in the morning. Thank you. Um, but now I have to ask you the lightning round questions. Oh, my gosh. I, Are you ready for this? I couldn't study for these because I didn't know what to expect, so no, I'm ready. you can't ever study for these. Okay, so first one. Do you have a nickname? You know, sometimes people will call me FJ. My husband will call me Wheels because I am a triathlete and a marathon runner, and he likes to think I'm fast. I was very fast back in the day, uh, but now I just like to uh, compete there, for myself. Is there anything you don't do, Farah? No, there are, there are probably things. We'll find them. <laughs> what is your star sign? Uh, I'm a Libra. Oh. My birthday is October 16th, so it's coming up soon. All right, I like it. Okay, what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, my gosh, biggest pet peeve? I guess lying. That's mine. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, I love, I love hard it. on the sleeve, genuine people, mm -hmm. authenticity, 
takes you miles and miles ahead of anybody. Amen. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. Texting or talking? Talking. Last song you listened to? Oh, uh, that was on the way in, and now I'm going to forget what song. Oh, um, Feels So Good. Feels so, so Good. Feels So Good. So good. I yeah, was I gonna mean, ask you to sing it, but I know <laughs> of you I don't need to ask. Cake, cake or pie? Voices. Cake or pie? Oh my gosh, I love both. Can I have a scoop of cake on top of my pie? That's perfect. Kay. Favorite day of the week? Ooh, um, Saturday mornings, baby. I guess Saturday now. Yeah, Saturday. I, mean, I don't have a typical weekend, so let's say Saturday. Uh, favorite vacation destination? It used to be here to the Pacific Northwest, but now this is home. Stop it. it I'm serious. Okay, yeah. and then your most used emoji. Most use emoji. Um, I love the little, um, the red heart with the star sparkle in it because for me, it's, it doesn't just show like love, but it shows excitement and gratitude. Ah, I love that. Yeah. Farah, I, you are welcome on this couch anytime. I cannot wait to get up early and watch the morning news Thank and you, watch Amity. you there. I really it's appreciate that. It's a great, great show. And we're so lucky to have you. Yeah. So we'll see you guys uh, Saturday. Yes, <laughs> we will. All right.